623 on your Tuesday morning, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau plans to issue guidance in the coming weeks to urge banks to repay customers who fall victim to alleged money transfer scams. In the meantime, consumers continue to be tricked into paying those scammers money transfer apps like Zelle. Yeah, those aren't helping. And News 5's Patrick Nelson joins us. He uncovered a recent case right here in our own community. All right, what can we what can we learn from this, Patrick? So in this case, the fraudsters use the name U.S. Bank. You've probably heard of this company. Many of our viewers may even bank with them. And by using that name, they were able to launch an imposter text message phone call and ultimately to pose in, as employees to convince a bank customer to transfer money stealing a thousand dollars from one of our hard-working neighbors. I work hard for my money. I'm a, I'm a manual laborer. I do landscaping for a living, so I earn my money. It was during one of those hard days that Christopher Brown got a random text message saying his U.S. bank bank account was compromised and someone was stealing his money. It was an exhausting day. We were reeling in rock back and forth all day and I was tired as it was and wasn't really in the clear thought and so I'm just sitting in the truck like, oh no, that my, my account got hacked. They're taking money out of my account, so I'm all worried. After calling his bank directly and confirming there wasn't a problem, his phone rang again. This time it displayed the phone number of the U.S. Bank Fraud Department. They had all my information. They had my name, my address, the last four of my account. The person on the phone told him he was with U.S. Bank and money was being taken from his account using Zelle. So he needed to open the money transfer app. I could hear typing on a computer like they were actually doing it. So I was like, okay. This, this is real. Like, there's actually something going on here. Believing he was talking to an actual U.S. bank expert, Brown was told to move money around and to send money to various account names on Zelle as part of a test to make sure his account was secure. I was on the phone with him for about an hour. And then uh, finally, at the end of it all, um, after I sent $1,000, um, they wanted me to send more. And that's when I kind of thought, I was like, okay, now this is starting to feel weird. Brown got off the line and called U.S. Bank directly and got the bad news. We know that this is a scam, but since you were the one that pressed the button, it's your fault and not the bank's doing. But I have never once got an email, never once got a letter. I didn't even know this existed until it happened to me. He requested U.S. Bank to investigate what happened, but just like his conversation on the phone, got a letter saying his claim was denied and his funds couldn't be recovered. Brown says at this point, he just wants to speak up to try to help other people avoid this headache. It, it really does mean a lot just being able to get the word out there and helping this hopefully stop or help other people not fall for this. So a lot of times when we do these stories, we want to be solutions based. But to this point, U.S. Bank hasn't done anything to help Brown make up for his losses since technically this wasn't the result of a banking mistake. But we hmm. do mention that these kind of scams are happening frequently and nationwide. So what are some of the solutions we're looking at? You know, we hope people don't fall for this in the first place. That's our goal in doing a story like this. Yeah. But it is happening so often and consumers are getting the same answer. The banks are basically saying, you push the button, you sent the money, mm -hmm. so it's not our fault but there is actually a movement to create some oversight, some new regulations to maybe have the banks have to do a little bit more. Yeah, but do we have any, any word on what the timetable is for when they might make those changes? Yeah, that's something that we need to follow closely <laughs> yeah. here. Um, I'm told conversations are happening right now and it could actually be just weeks away because in this case, $1,000, but you imagine this happening nationwide, how much money fraudsters are making away with and uh, the banks really aren't doing much to stop yeah. it. So hopefully we can try to uh, nip this in the butt. Yeah, yeah. well. $1,000 is a lot for a family right now, especially. But it's okay. It's not. Let's right check now. in.